First, you make a selection by pushing in the knob of the snack you want. This is actually pushing a pole towards the back. You then put a quarter into the slot. The quarter slides down a plastic track, moves into the white paper guide, and falls to the end of that. At the end is a popsicle stick gate. As the quarter falls on the stick, it raises up the other side of the gate, which releases the yellow marble. The marble rolls down a plastic V-track until it bumps into the large blue ball. The blue ball rolls forward and falls onto a white cloth. The cloth is stretched across holders, and the other part of the cloth holds a red tennis ball. As the blue ball pushes down on one side, the red ball rises up and falls into the three-piece wooden dowel track. It rolls down the track where it bumps into a paint stick that then bumps the baseball on the platform above. The baseball rolls down a slight incline under the white PVC pipe, makes a 90-degree right turn, and then rolls quickly down a steep ramp. At the bottom of the ramp, it bumps into the handles of a pair of scissors, which cuts the rubber band that is suspending the white PVC pipe. The pipe falls, and the blue speckled marble inside shoots out and into a plastic pan, causing it to take a 180-degree turn. The marble rolls into a plastic V-track, and at the end of it, bumps into a wooden popsicle stick wall. It then rolls down a two-dial wooden track, takes a right turn, another wooden track, another right turn, and down the last wooden track onto a little white paper ramp that launches it into the air. It lands on a small lever platform. As one side of the platform falls, the other side rises, pushing up on a wire and a popsicle stick that is holding onto a white Snow Patrol Hot Wheels car. On top of the car is a large marble. As the car rolls down the track, it crashes into a white PVC tube, which launches the marble into the tube. The marble rolls down the tube and bumps into a cardboard platform that is attached to a wire pole that goes up about 10 inches to the black plastic marble track above. As the wire pulls back, it releases a yellow marble, which rolls down the black track. At the end, it falls through a trap door, rings a bell, and then falls into the small plastic cup. The cup, on a lever, falls down, raising up the other end, which also raises up another loose piece of Hot Wheels track that is holding a golden race car. The race car has a pole with a needle on the end. As the car rolls down the track that was just elevated, it runs into the balloon, popping the balloon. It's a long balloon, which goes all the way from the bottom level up to the second level, where it is holding back a ball on a double wooden dowel track. Once the balloon pops, the ball begins to roll down the track, where it crashes into a cardboard wall. That cardboard wall is supporting a piece of plastic track that contains a green marble. As the track falls down, the marble rolls left and into the plastic V-track inside the large cardboard box. This piece of track is like a bridge suspended on a small green bamboo pole. Once the marble crosses the bridge from right to left, it then hits a release that drops the bridge, which slides down the green pole into position about 8 inches lower. The marble, still on the same track, then rolls back on that same bridge, now left to right, where it drops into a series of other plastic V-tracks. It first goes through a hole in the box, to the back of the box, then right to left behind the box, and the back forwards at an angle. The marble makes a 90 degree turn and bumps the first domino. The dominoes, which go up a set of steps made of Legos, fall one after another until they bump a marble that sits on top of the steps. The marble falls into a plastic V-track, rolls down, then rolls back towards us on a cardboard track where it bumps into a wooden block and falls into a hole in the shelf. In the hole is a cardboard box catcher, which pulls down on the right arm of another popsicle gate. As the left arm rises, it releases a steel ball bearing on the wooden platform that rolls into a hole, making a contact between two wires. This switches on the motor, which turns one, two, three gears, which slowly winds the brown yarn on an axle. As the yarn winds, it goes up to a set of pulleys and pulls up on a piece of cardboard that is kind of shaped like a badminton birdie. The birdie rises and gets caught between the two poles of a platform that is sitting near a black plastic track near the top of the cardboard tube. On this platform is another yellow marble. As the platform lifts up, the marble slides off it and into the track. It takes a 180 degree turn on the track and falls onto the lid of a fan. Pushing down on the lid turns the fan on, which blows on a four-wheel vehicle with a pole and a plastic sail, called the sail car. The fan blows the sail car forward where it bumps into a black cube magnet. The magnet slides down a plastic track, where it falls close enough to attract another magnet, this one on a small red plastic pole. This pole is holding onto a yellow plastic ring and a string, which goes all the way up to the arm of the egg smasher on the top level. When the black magnet pulls on the red pole magnet, it releases the string, which allows the egg smasher arm to fall and smash the egg. The egg yolk drips into the clear plastic funnel and into the plastic cup below it. As the cup on the large lever fills, it pushes down on the lever, rising up the long pole on the other end. The pole pushes up on a piece of cardboard that tips over the cardboard tube containing two marbles. When the marbles fall into the suspended plastic cup, they pull up on the string, which goes up to two paper clips acting as pulleys, which then pulls up on the pin at the other end of the string. The pin being removed releases a white roller that completely circles the large, thick wooden dowel. From this roller hangs a pulley and another cube magnet. As the roller slides down the thick dowel, it crashes into a shelf and is positioned just above an oblong magnet that is sitting on a plastic V-track. Behind the oblong magnet is a marble. As the cube magnet pulls up on the oblong magnet and the marble rolls down the V-track and bumps into a steel ball bearing that is sitting further down the track. The marble rolls to the end of the track, but the ball bearing rolls left to right and falls through a hole in the track onto another V-track. It then rolls left to right onto the third V-track, and th then back right down off the end of the track onto a battery-powered car. The ball bearing connects two wires, which turns on the car motor. It takes off on a grooved track and makes several turns before coming back near its starting point and bumping the flat railroad car. This HO scale railroad flat car has a lit candle on it. As the flat car and the candle slide into place, they begin burning a brown piece of yarn that is holding up a piece of plastic tubing. 
This tubing connects the full water bottle on the right side of the machine to the empty bottle on the left side of the machine, the one inside the orange bucket. When the yarn breaks, the tubing is dropped and the water begins to flow. The bucket grows heavier and begins to fall. The bucket is suspended on a string that goes up to two pulleys and then back down to a wooden stick inside a plastic blue tube. As the stick rises, it pushes up on the double-barreled plastic PVC tubes at the top of the machine. Inside these tubes are 25 marbles each. As the tubes rise, the marbles pour out, half into the green vortex-style tray and the other half into this plastic bottle. The marbles take one of four paths towards the large tray below. They can go down this plastic tube, or they can bounce off this mini trampoline into a catcher, or they can go down this series of ladder tracks, or they can go down this loop-de-loop -loop into a small plastic bottle. In the end, all the marbles will collect in this tray, make a turn, and fall into this container. As the container gets heavier, it will pull on the rope, which again goes up to two pulleys and then down to the pin that is holding back the sled. Once the pin is pulled, the sled shoots down the track until it crashes into one of the wooden dowels. It will crash into the dowel that the person first pushed to make their snack selection. Once it crashes, the marble inside the sled will lurch forward, take a right turn, and drop into one of the ten boxes. One box for each snack. The marble will fall through a hole in the box and into a plastic bottle that's sitting on a paddle like a lever. As the marble and bottle fall, the other side of the paddle rises and the string attached to it pulls on the corresponding cardboard platform on the other side. When the platform is pulled out, the snack it was holding then drops out of the machine and you have your snack.